Sometimes you're the smartest guy in the room, but you don't want anybody to know it. Let them think you're a dummy. You don't know anything. And they yapping away, yapping away, yapping away, right? There's other times when you're not the smartest guy in the room. But if you keep your mouth shut, nobody knows that. They don't know it. So you let them talk, commit themselves. By the time they're finished, then you can become the smartest guy in the room because they told you everything. Always say less than necessary. Very kind of common sense law. And the idea is that if you're in a meeting with people, that man or woman who talks less generally has an aura of power, particularly a boss. They seem enigmatic, mysterious. And when they do something, say something, everybody's hanging on their words. What did that mean? What did it say? Whereas people who talk a lot give the impression that they're weak. They signal weakness. They can't control themselves. So they can't control themselves. How can they control anything in the business world, right? So we sense that in people. So be aware of that. You're probably talking too much in a lot of circumstances, and maybe you can control that. And so this is kind of a way of defending yourself in an environment where people will tend to see you as weak if you can't have any self-control. Four, always say less than necessary. When you are trying to impress people with words, the more you say, the more common you appear and the less in control. Even if you're saying something banal, it will seem original if you make it vague, open-ended, and sphinx-like. Powerful people impress and intimidate by saying less. The more you say, the more likely you are to say something foolish. What's going, YouTube? All right, my boy. So this video is going to be really fun, really fun for me. This is like a little bit of a guide way of like what you should follow within a rule book of life to always be quiet and move in silence. But the title of the video today is build a seductive aura by moving in silence. Let her choose without making a move. You feel me? So we going to dig into it, bro. I got both of these, bro. I was studying. I did like I did like an hour, 32 hours worth of fucking reading and just um preparing for this video so that I can write down some shit and give you guys real genuine knowledge of why you should always like move in silence and you know keep your mouth shut in whatever in whatever situation you're in you can never lose if your mouth is shut i swear to you right so check this out right the first thing i want to start off with is this one little quote in the beginning of uh, uh law number four always say less than necessary right when you are trying to impress people with words the more you say the more common you appear and the less in control even if you're saying something banal it will seem original if you make it vague, open-ended, and sphinx-like. Powerful people impress and intimidate by saying less. And the more you say, the more likely you are to say something foolish, right? So that's definitely something true in the fact of like, if you're someone who talks a lot, it shows that you're one, you're weak, and that you want to be heard by people and everything like that. You know, for me, I have that problem as well. We're controlling my tongue sometimes because in mere like situations in real life, I'm always quiet, always quiet, always listening. But when it comes to my friends and everyone that I know around, when they just say some stupid shit, I go and attack. But sometimes it's a lack of self-control. And I can self-analyze and say, that is where I move wrong. Because on Seamer Intent, you want to build an aura of being a strong like figure. There's nothing wrong with that. And being someone that's well-respected in your community. And a way of doing that is by being quiet and being silent and actually by being shut and actually listening to other people more than you talk, right? You have two ears and one mouth. You should always listen before you talk. Or you should always listen more than you talk. And this is in the Bible too, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, like, the more you listen, the more knowledge you're going to get out of people. I used to work a lot of jobs with, like, a lot of my coworkers. And they were always older than me. And they always knew a lot more than me. So I understood to ask them questions about, like, past experiences that I went through that I struggled with. And see if they can help me along the lines with that. I will ask them a question of... Yo, when you were like my age, when you were 20 years old or what was going on around this time, like how, how was how was the, the economy? How was everything going? What would you do if you're 20 years old again in this society today? And I will ask these questions to my old heads who are like 60, 70, 50, 50, 60, 70 years old. And they will give me their insight and their knowledge and I will stay shut and I'll keep asking questions that I need in order to get an answer so that I can help better myself within my day and age in this real world. And that's what it's all about is actually just learning and getting more knowledge. The more you're able to stay shut and really hear someone out and really understand, you can do this in such manipulative tactics. It's crazy that if you want to get information out of someone, you just ask them a question about that subject or whatever you need and stay shut and look them in their eyes and just be quiet. And 
you know, just keep asking questions upon that. If you want to get to know someone about this person or get some intel or some information, you ask them a question and be quiet. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. You can tell other people's characteristics when you're around them. When there's a group of people, right? And you ask a question or you just stay shut. You can listen to and analyze each person as it is. It's crazy. All you have to do is use your brain and be quiet. So if you're in a group of people and you want to know what kind of people they are, what kind of, you know, what kind of morals they have, are they good for you or anything? Just be quiet and let them flow. Let the conversations within the group go. And, you know, just go ahead, not stand there like a bot and just be like, you know, just like all like kind of weird and like a quiet, introverted type of person. No, just literally look at them in their eyes and engage in the conversation. Ask a few questions and shit like that. You know, throw a couple laughs and you can really be manipulative with this and see what characters they are. Oh, this guy's a dickhead. He always curses. He's not a good person, you know, or whatever. This guy, he's loud. He's he, he's annoying. I don't really like him. Her, she's pretty cool. She's cute, you know, everything like that. So I could stay around her. Maybe she could come around with me. This one, like, just even a couple days ago, I just heard, like, a woman talk like a fucking thought in the middle of, like, out of nowhere. It just came out of nowhere like a thought. And I analyzed. I was like, mm-mm, I don't like you. <laughs> like, instantly, I don't like you. You're a thought. You're talking about fucking and this, that, and the third. And, you know, it's not ladylike in my eyes. So you're a thought. Beware. I don't want to be around you. You can analyze what people you want in your life. You can see by their, their body language as well. This is very, this is very, um um uh, primal since like back in the day and shit like that when you look at a monkey right even with monkeys and shit they can't speak but their body language and their signals cues something of like power or like submissiveness and all sorts of things right when a gorilla bangs his chest what he's saying all the other gorillas knows like yo that's the big homie right there he banging his chest and if whoever wants to come around come bang your chest and we're gonna fight it out type shit that's what gorillas do also another thing what monkeys and gorillas do when they smile and laugh and all of that, it shows that they're playing or being submissive. So if the little monkey's getting the big gorilla mad, and I always see clips where like the monkey would like just tap the, the big gorilla and he's all mad and shit, and the other monkey would be laughing, like smiling and shit to show them that they're not, you know, being serious and shit. It's all primal. You can read body language. You can see what type of people you like to be around. Me, I know what type of people I love to be around, and I can see what people I don't want to be around. So I say, fuck out of here, right? So... This is like, you know, by staying, staying silent, you can learn so much about someone. You can learn so much, so much things. Just be quiet in these social situations. When you're around women, it gives you power. Y'all don't even know, like, like it gives you a power of just like, you are the upper hand. You are, but the thing is, you have to be looking at these people in their eyes. Like if you're, if say if there's like five girls in the group, right? And I'm like the one guy, I'll ask a question. And look at all of them and i want an answer from all of you guys and i will be looking at them in their eyes but not in a way of like a creepiness because some guys are like staring at them and you could tell like yo i'm infatuated and i'm in love with you in my mind i'm thinking i'm looking in your eyes and you know i want to hear your answer and by doing that when you look you have firm eye contact with a woman or a man you will be seen as respected you will get respect because you're looking at them like you're supposed to and you're not scared of them most guys can't even look a girl in their eyes right so they're scared of that girl in a way because i i got to look all around and and you know the pressure's on me for an answer no for me i take my time no one rushes me in any conversations anything i need to say or explain you're not going to rush me you're not going to talk over me i'm going to go and move accordingly as i want to be and I'm going to move in such a calm state and flow that if a shorty asks me a question and she's like giving me like trying to press me, I tell her calm down and I tell her the answer of whatever it is. But when you ask a shorty a question, look at her in her eyes. This is real game. Look at her in her eyes. And in a way, give a seductive look, but keep looking at her. And uh, you can read by her, her body language. This is big. Read her body language. If you are someone of higher power like me i always think of myself as like a king and i move like a king i'm dripped out i always look good you feel me i just got my hair cut so your bitch is coming with me so i'll make your girl nervous in a way of like asking her questions getting to know her but like her trying to impress me when you realize a girl's trying to impress you biggest thing that you you won you got it you got her around your finger in a way of like if you ask a question, you just like the other day, I was at a party and I was asking this girl, I told her to come over here and I, I'm spitting game, I'm talking to her, but I'm not talking as much, but my, I'm letting my body and my presence and how relaxed I am speak for myself. And in a way, I'm calming her down, but in a way, she's still on her toes of like, okay, this guy is really like the best I'm gonna get. And like, he's like, I need to impress him. 
So whenever I asked her a question, I'll just look in her eyes, but I'll be chilled, laid back. I was on the couch. I was chilled, laid back, looking at her, and I'm psychoanalyzing her. I'm seeing her body language. I'm seeing if she's nervous a little bit in a way of like her eye, her eye contact is like going all the way uh, around. Like she's looking around for answers and, you know, she kind of wanted to impress me. That's when I knew I got it around my finger. And later on, I she wanted she asked for my number and I was going to take her home if I wanted to. That All of this happens when you want it to. You feel me? I'm the king everything revolves around me right so now we're going to really get into like the stuff seduct the seductive part right so this is the, the art of seduction the other book was the 48 laws of power so this is real game real quick right so this says few are drawn to the person whom others avoid or neglect people gather around those who have already attracted interest we want what other people want to draw your victims closer and make them hungry to possess you you must create an aura of desirability of being wanted and courted by many it will become a point of vanity of them to be preferred, to be the preferred object of your attention, to win away from a crowd of admirers. Manufacture the illusion of popularity by surrounding yourself with members of opposite sex, friends, former lovers, present suitors. Create triangles that stimulate rivalry and raise your value. Build a reputation that precedes you. If you have succumbed, if many have succumbed to your charms, there must be a reason. So this is why I always say. If you got a shorty and a good looking girl around you, you're going to get more women instantly. Right. I, I have so many stories, even that I told you guys I was at a mall. Um, I, you know, I've been so locked in on my YouTube shit, but I went on a date with this girl and we went to the mall and the amount of looks that I have gotten because she's a pretty decent looking girl. She's like to me, seven and a half for like you, you probably like you're nine. You probably tweaking over this bitch. But me, I don't do that. I don't tweak over bitches. <laughs> they tweak over me. You see how you move, maneuver as the king, like even just subconsciously. That's just who I am. But I went to the mall, right, with this one girl. She looks pretty good, seven and a half, nine for most guys. And I'm going through the stores. I'm walking through. My head held high and my chest up. So that shows I'm confident. I am not scared. I'm not anything. This is primal nature of being a human, being a man. If you see a guy shoulders rounded everything he's scared you can tell he's scared or he's timid he's you know he's shy but when you walk with your chest held with your head held high and your chest up that's body game it shows that yeah i'm confident i am the king of this bitch every room that i step in is now mine so that is it is what it is i'm sorry implement this into your game so i'm walking through the mall right and basically this girl she's telling me like i know that all these girls are looking at me i'm telling you at least 20 of them everywhere i go they're double backing bro like they'll look here and i'm looking at them because i'm like yo what y'all looking at you feel me sometimes you get in a way of like yo all right there's too many people kind of looking at me you feel me and I, i'm like in a way of like okay man if you're not good looking i don't want you looking at me <laughs> like i'm sorry so there was some uglies and there's some good looking. That's just how it goes in this real world. You go around, not everyone's going to look good, honestly. So they're going to admire you and when you look good and you take care of yourself, right? So I'm going through and I'm seeing girls double back. I'm seeing, you know, all sorts of things. They're looking at me while I'm right next to this girl. And I'm going to keep it a beam. Some bitches do not have any filters. Like they will like, some bitches are like, some bitches will like, like literally tell you that you look good right in front of the girl that you're with. Like it's crazy. This case, it didn't happen, but other cases that did happen. But I am the prize. I am that guy. You're not going to see another guy like me. That's how I truly feel and how I maneuver throughout my day. So I'm going through the through the um, the mall, and this girl, she tells me. I know that all these girls are looking at me. I'm looking at them. They're looking at me. I'm making them look away and shit. So they're like, yo, these girls are tweaking over you. Like, they're double backing over you. Like, and looking back, like, why do these bitches keep looking at you? I'm like, man, this is what comes with Patrick. I, I literally tell her, this is what comes with me. Like, you got to realize that shit. And she's getting mad. She's like, nah, nah, nah. I don't want all of them looking at you and this. And this, in a way, you got to understand with women, you have to really understand. I learned a lot of game from the seductive book. You got to get that book and really read this shit thoroughly. I read to the um, end. And this is the main chapter that really opened my eyes. Because in a way, it shows that you're the prize. You're the prize. So when other people are looking at you, you're the prize. You're They're looking at you for a reason. One, you look good. And two, they probably want you. So in that way, it shows that the girl I'm with, like, yeah, you better, like, yeah, you got to, like, stay on your toes. Because, listen, I could have a lot of these bitches really anytime I want. And it shows that you are of higher power. And what women like, women like what other women like. This is the thing that you have to understand. When you got a bad bitch next to you, other women are going to look at what she has. And they're going to want it. It's just what it is. It's like... If you really think about it, like rappers and all sorts of things, 
nobody would give a fuck about like how they look because look at like Lil Uzi, look at Trippy Red, all of these rappers, they're ugly as fuck. But they have the fame, the money, all of this and the power so the women come with it. And when I hear a bitch talk about, oh my God, Lil Uzi, like he looks so good. I just know you're talking bullshit because that's groupie shit. He doesn't actually look good. And I'm not hating on him. It's like he generally doesn't. But it's just other girls want what other girls want. That's what it is. It's like the kid in high school, like the famous, you know, the reputation kid, the kid who's like the most popular, who gets all the hoes and shit. They want him because one, he is the prize. He seems as higher. He moves like the king. So the king gets whatever he wants. He wants this bitch, you know, whatever girl he wants, he's going to get. And all like the, like, the, like, you know, like the regular looking girls, the average fives out of 10, four out of 10s. They're going to be looking at him as like a god and all the other women are. So when they talk about, oh, my God, he's like the hottest dude, in the, hottest dude in the school. or He's the most best looking dude in the school. They're all going to tweak on him. It's it's just human nature. They're all going to want him. So that leads from the four to fives out of tens tweaking on him. Then the six and sevens are going to hear about him. And the seven and eights are going to hear about him. And the nines and tens are all going to hear about him. And this is that one guy that stands among, stand out amongst all the other people within the school or whatever realm you're in and they're gonna want him i've been that guy in plenty of situations and a lot of jobs that i've been you know they want me they all these women want me and that's that's fine you want to be that guy you know what i'm saying so in order that you just you just got to realize how women work they want what other women want they, they they're not like they're not creatures that want some shit naturally they want what other people like they like what other people like you see what i'm saying and i got two more things i got um from this book that i'm gonna spit to you bro that's gonna open your eyes bro so our desire for another person almost always involves social considerations we are attracted to those who are attractive to other people that's how women work that's how men work too there's some bitches that like as a guy that you get women right i'm, I'm gonna keep this a, a like a thousand right there's like something about a girl that if they don't pay you no mind and they look good and they move like confidently that becomes like the second like the sexiest thing in the world like you want her because she's not showing you no interest because all the other hoes you're catching them look at you and all sorts of things so you're like yeah i can have that but when you, you there's like one that doesn't like look at you in that way or just like maneuvering walking past you without looking at you and tweaking it's like I like you. Like, I'm going to keep it a thousand. I'm, that's the woman I like where it's like I'm not chasing. I'm not going to ever chase a girl. But it's like that's sexy as fuck because she's not tweaking over me or like, you know, she's not showing me any attention. She's just walking by you like just in all sorts of things. That's like the sexiest thing. So the second thing is the illusion that you are desired by others will make you more attractive to your victims than your beautiful face or your perfect body. And this is something that. I've realized that there is some, like, there was this one girl, like, I'll tell you right now, like, this one girl, I'm at the gym, right, you know, I'm fly as shit everywhere I go, I'm gonna spit that game a little later on, so if you don't watch the end, that's tough on you, why you need to be fly at all times, you feel me, but basically, I'm at the gym, right, and when I'm at the gym, bro, like, that's my palace, like, I'm the king, I'm literally the king, you feel what I'm saying, and, you know, I rule that shit, whatever gym I go to, you know, you know what I'm saying, I see people look at me, I get respect from men and women, and, you know, all sorts of things like that. So when I'm in the gym, it's crazy how this works. I'm at the gym one day and I'm hitting leg day and everything like that. You know, I'm not paying no mind to no one. I don't care. I'm in the gym. But there's this one girl who just walks past me, like right by me. And she pays me no mind because I, I don't know what it was. But that shit attracted me so much. It reminded me of like someone who was like me. Like it was crazy where I'm the guy that people want. And I don't pay them no mind. But I'm she's like the girl that she's like the girl version of that where she's like the king, the queen and I'm the king. And she just walks by and she has like a fat ass. But like she was wearing sweats, which covered her ass. And her face was solid. It was like a seven and a half to be real with you. But her ass was nice. And, and you know, she had her sweats, but it was her demeanor of not giving a fuck. That was the sexiest thing I've seen. And when you implement that in your game. I naturally do that. So I walk past with my past people, with my head held high, my chest up because I'm not scared of nothing or, the, or anyone or like, you know, the world is mine. That's how I truly feel. And when I walk past someone, it's like I am that guy. So they look at me and it's like, you know, all sorts of things. But, you know, that was the girl version of me where I'm like, oh, shit, she's literally walking with me with pure confidence, not giving a fuck about nothing. And other women literally told me like, yo, 
one of the reasons why I like you is because you just move like you don't give a fuck. You walk with confidence. It was like your walk. That's what a couple girls told me. And I'm like, word, like this, like it's just confidence. It's you women love confidence and they want what they can't have. You feel me? So if you're seducing women within your atmosphere at the gym, you can walk past, just walk past them like they don't even like fucking exist. It's like, what the fuck? Why does this work? But it works. You just pay them no mind as if you're the king. And in my way, I got fucking, I'm, I'm cracked off of a fucking pre-workout with honey and fucking, uh, pink Himalayan sea salt in my drink. I drink the pre-workout. I'm in the zone. I got my headphones on. I'm bumping music. You feel what the fuck I'm saying? And I walk by people. I don't say a word. I don't say nothing. I just walk to the dumbbells, go do what I do. And every time I'm done with my set, I stand up because I'm fucking breathing hard and shit. I see people looking at me. I see men and women looking at me, especially women there. You'll catch them looking at you and they will look away. And you know, that's a signal. They're staring at you for a reason. There's something about you. And especially when your mouth is closed, you know, it, it builds a, your aura because when your mouth is closed, you're not like going to say something stupid or, you know, sometimes you'll, you'll meet a girl, right? Um, For instance, I was just talking to my homie the other day about this shit. Like we was talking to this girl from New York and shit. She was bad as fuck. You feel what I'm saying? And the moment she opens her mouth, you know how bitches from New York be talking so ratchet, ghetto, just like a man talk with so much slang, talking just talk more slang than me. That's the most like, like it turned me off. Like I didn't give a fuck how bad she was, who she was as a person, her personality turned me off all the way. I was like, bro, I don't even want to be around you. I'm sorry. And I kept it moving because yeah, she was bad. And you know, like it was until she opened her mouth. It was like, nah bro like this ain't it man i didn't expect that i'm thinking a nice feminine beautiful girl all charming and shit i got a, basically another version of a man like uh, she's ready she this girl's more ready to fight a guy than most uh of these soy boys and shit but when you just talking to someone in general right this go for men and women but it works different in a way with a woman because bro it's so seductive and they like you a lot for some reason about this right but when you're talking to a person face to face you must talk to them with your eye eye contact. Look at them in their eyes. It's like, it shows that you're not nervous. It shows that you're in the moment and you're talking to these people. And in this way, it puts a little bit of pressure on them. So if you ask them a question, they will, some people start to stutter, right? Just, oh, bro, this happens all the fucking time. It's so crazy. Like, I, I was just talking to this girl the other day and I'm focused on her. And, you know, I, I just love to flirt. It's just fun. It's just it's just fun, bro, at this point, because when you got so much knowledge and game, you're like, OK, I can have this one any time the fuck I want. Right. So she's a pretty girl, too, as well. And I'm just talking to her and I'm looking her in her eyes. And I know I got her because I'm looking in her eyes, but she's running away from the eye contact. It's too much heat. It's too much pressure. But it's not in a way of like I'm I, I'm like 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 weird like i'm making her uncomfortable it's more in a way of like oh my god this dude's looking at me in my eyes and it's it's like she gets nervous in a good way not in a bad way of like yo this is a fucking mass killer and he, he's looking to my soul no i'm just looking at you in a seductive seductive way but it puts pressure on them when you ask her ask them a question right so i asked this girl a question and shit and she this is what even caught me because i even watch body language i can see her eyes are not in contact with me so i'm like okay yeah she's nervous it's, it's okay cool like it's okay baby you could tell your story right and in a way it puts the pressure on her and as she's talking she she starts to stutter and she starts to fumble over her words and in a way that that one subtle cue you got to really pick up on these cues in a way you're putting pressure on her so she's kind of nervous in a good way and she fumbled over her words so she's stuttering she's she's in a you know a, a place of like like an emotional r roller coaster without people really realizing this. You got to know this type of psychology and this type of game. So she's nervous. She's looking all around kind of thing. I'm like, okay, I got this bitch tweaking. So I continue looking in her eyes, but I'm not in a, you got to understand you're not in a fucking, uh, 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 a fucking mindset of, <laughs> of like, you're looking into this bitch soul. No, you're just looking at her and you know, and like, you know, you might tilt your head and just like flirt, throw a little smile, but your eye contact is firm. And especially if your mouth is closed and you're just like looking at them and you, it, it just puts pressure on people. And she started to fumble over her words and she was like, oh, look at me fumbling over my words. Ha ha ha. I tried to play it off. I'm like, OK, this bitch is tweaking, like geeking, tweaking. And another way you can tell if a shorty's tweaking on you is when you are talking to them, 
and you know like you kind of throw like a slight jab in a way of like i said to this one girl something along the lines i forgot what i said it was kind of like in a way where i projected her I could see her little bit of insecurity of like how she dressed and shit. And I said, I think I said, you look like a mom to me or some shit, right? Or, or I was like, you remind me of my mom in a way, right? And the, and I, I generally was just, it just blurted out. I was just, I was just like to her, you remind me of my mom. And like, in my eyes, I'm thinking it's a good thing. But that sl slight jab, she was like, what do you mean I look like your mom? Like she cared so much about what I wanted to, you know, like what, what I thought. And in that way, I'm like, okay, I got her around my finger too. Even if I don't care if she has a boyfriend, anything like that. This works within boyfriend, girlfriend. You can seduce and make her want to produce with you by doing this type of movement and this type of game. So I'm like, I told her like, yo, you look, you remind me of my mom. And in a way, I'm thinking it's a good way because I love my mom. You feel me? And she, but her, she was like, wait, what do you mean? Like, you know, I'm I'm giving mom vibes. I'm like, no, you just look like my mom. She was like, what do you mean? What is it in my appearance? I was like, it was your, it's your glasses. The way you, like, my mom rock glasses, how you rock glasses and shit. But I don't explain all that. I just, like, it's your glasses. And she was like, oh, no, I'm giving mom vibes and shit. And I, I told her, I told her, you saying this as if this is a bad thing. I said, no, I love my mom. And then from there, I reassured her in a way of, like, no, you're okay. And she started to laugh, like, a lot. And then she started to smile. She, it was, like, a sense of relief of, like, okay, like, you know, you know, like, you see how she tweaking? It's like in a, a sense of release, like, okay, it's not in a bad way. So, you know, yada, yada, yada. And with women, you got to understand, women are the most insecure type of creatures there is. Like, they care about everything. You got to understand, when they do their hair, that shit takes like two hours. When they do their makeup, you know, it takes hours. It takes a long time for them to get ready for a reason because they want to project to themselves as perfect because society wants them as perfect because what they get and how they come with their value, the value of women is how she looks and i'm gonna keep it a thousand with you whether you agree with me or not if you're a little virgin okay you know maybe you like fat bitches and all sorts of things you can go with that but for me for instance when they try to attract a guy they do it by their seducing they you know they wear all sorts of things they do makeup they do the hair they wear eyelashes fake nails fake makeup fake everything and, and um the way of like uh, of like you know they they could bro there are so many ways that they kind of like fool men and people like men don't notice so that's why I say I'm a king because, bro, I, I don't fake nothing. Everything about me is real. I don't give a fuck. You're not going to see. You see me on Instagram, you're going to see me in real life. Like, oh, yeah, that's Patrick. You see some of these hoes on Instagram, they look perfect. They'll edit videos and edit pictures and all sorts of things and use all these filters. You see them in real life, that doesn't look like the same person. So that's why I know I'm the king. I'm the prize. But most guys can't live to that standard. And I feel sorry for them. That's why you need this game. But even with women, they're wearing... um. Oh, I forgot what they're called, fajas, I think, or some shit, where it, it it covers their belly fat and it makes them look more snatched and all sorts of things so that when they wear a dress, it's the biggest, like, catfish thing you'll ever see. You'll see a fat bitch, but then, like, her waist is so slim and her ass is fat, but it's like, what the fuck? You, like, you, you, like, she takes that off. You're like, whoa, what the fuck happens? You could go do your research on that shit. You give her a topic to talk about you guys are talking about something and you just let her speak let a woman speak all they want to do is speak that's all they do it's not that hard and especially with guys as well look at them in their eyes it will show that they like a respect if they're looking away from you as well it's a sense of nervousness it's a sense of anxiety it's a sense of i need to rush and say something quick so that uh uh i, I can be seen as this down the third you feel me you will get respect from more guys because you are more masculine you're holding eye contact you're not scared when you're holding eye contact with a woman like and especially if she's looking into you as well do not fold look at her and wait till she looks away especially if it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation i will show that i'm the man of this conversation i am not the bitch you most of you guys are bitches you look all the way when you're telling stories to people or anything like that it's like no lock in with that same person do not stare in a creepy way into their soul of like like yo this guy's a mass murderer and he's creeping me out no it's in a way of like yeah, I can have you whenever I want. And they're, they are trying to impress you. When a girl is going to, like, when a girl is impressed, like trying to do everything she can to impress you, doing her hair and makeup, nails, all sorts of things, even the questions you ask, she wants to say, stir it in a way that she thinks is best for you so that she can get you, you feel me? In a way of like, like you know, you ask a girl, can she cook and clean? She's going to say, yes, yeah, I can do this. I can do that. She, uh, I, I know how to do this. You know, you let them ramble and all sorts of things. You can tell by that she wants to impress you in that way. You take a step back like, oh, she's trying to impress me for real. Just let her keep speaking. What I do is like I, I garner my attention away. When I hear things I don't like, I look away.
It's just primal human nature of reading body language. When you look away, you're disdained. You don't want to look at that. You don't want to hear that shit. So when I hear some bullshit about a bitch talking some nut shit, I look away or I walk away. And in that way, you hold power. And she's she's like, oh, my God. She picks up on that. She's like, wait, no, he probably doesn't like that. You know, it gives her like a little bit of an anxiety stir. But this is what women want. You, they can say, oh, you're manipulative. You're this, that, and the third. It's fine because this is what they want. They fuck on dudes like this. They don't fuck on you you little virgins who give her all the time in the day. Even for most handsome guys, if you give them too much time, you're texting them all day, you're with her all day. It, it breaks the seductive aura. It breaks the, 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 the part of like, oh my God, like he's mysterious. Oh, another thing. When you're quiet, you're more mysterious. People don't know about you. You know what I'm saying? When you walk with your head ho high and your chest up, like I told you, in a mere example, you will see a girl. It's very rare, very rare, because most women are very insecure of themselves. No matter how beautiful she looks, no matter how much makeup she puts on, no matter how good her vo her body is, she will always be insecure. So when I told you about that girl that walked past me, bro, she's not insecure of nothing. She walks with her head held high, her chest up. She got a nice body. She looked good in the face, you know, pretty solid in the face. But what that did, it took her from like a seven and a half to a nine in my eyes because of her confidence confidence will take you a long way like in the book it said it doesn't matter how good your face looks or how your body looks it's how you maneuver and carry yourself you carry yourself with confidence you're gonna get more women you're gonna get more respect from men women all sorts of things you're gonna get what you want because you're confident women love a dude who's confident it makes them nervous you gotta flip the script she makes you nervous oh you're scared to go up to her and her friends yeah okay fuck out of here you're nervous to me when i look at you in your eyes you're looking away yeah you're nervous to me that's how you move like a king a king gets whatever he wants and in this game of women you will succeed no matter what these little virgins will say right when you're quiet you have power within yourself and can make other people nervous put them in the state of them wanting you to impress you like like i told you guys eye contact and how you carry yourself is important dress nice always you're putting yourself in position to be seen as higher such as a king so move like one I don't play when I say I move like a king. When I move and I don't talk and I, when I say I like people are saying things I don't like to hear or bullshit when the bitch is rambling, all sorts of things. Even on FaceTime, a bitch rambling this, that she's talking out of pocket, whatever. I hang up the phone. That shows I do not play and I will not answer until I want to call you or you call me back and I answer the phone and they understand he's not one to be played with. Oh, big thing right here. I Yo, kind of forgot about this. This is very big. You must stand on your word and every word that you say, you must remember. If you promise the girl something, you promise the guy something, you promise anyone something, you have to stick to that promise because they're going to, that shows a sense of trustworthiness and everyone loves a person who's trustworthy that they can call on and, you know, that is reliable. Nobody cares about someone who lies about what they do and all sorts of things. No, that's not cool. So your word means everything. You must stand on it. Show up. If I say I'm going to be here at a certain time, I'm going to be there at that time. You see what I'm saying? Everything like that. You're like a king. You're someone that's trustworthy, who's of higher value. And when you move like this, the woman will see you of higher value. The, the guys will see you as higher value. And especially, this is a big thing too, right? I said, dress nice always. You're putting yourself in position to be seen as a king. So move like one. Always be seen in a nice fashion. Always be seen as not like a good looking person right so always be seen around your way as like yo it's hot as fuck today bro i don't know what the fuck going on but always be seen as someone of higher value and always be seen as in in a good point of view like if you're out and about even if like this is the pimp game too i'll make a whole separate video on this because this needs a whole separate video but with the pimp game bro they're always dripped out everywhere they go even if they go to the corner store and I'm saying for us, like people like, you know, me and you, where we're not dripped at all times. Me, I got my J's on. I got my sweats and my shirt with my chain on. They, that draws attention. You feel what I'm saying? So always be seen in good fashion. Always be seen nice clothes. Always be seen as confident, you know, chest, head how high, chest up. Show that you're that guy. And the woman will fucking tweet. I don't even know. Because in order to get more bitches, you got to be better than them. Like in the way of like, I'm going to break down that whole game too. But in order to get chose with your mouth closed, basically what I'm saying is 
you have to be seen as nice. You got to be seen in a nice fashion. Everyone talks about drip and all this, that, and the third. What drip really is, just start to match your clothes a little bit better. You know, wear nice jewelry, wear nice things, nice things that make you truly feel confident within yourself. And that aura is going to project on other people. So that when you are walking with your head out high and your chest up, and you got nice clothes on and you're confident, you got a nice smile, you look good. This, bro, it creates an illusion of like, damn, he's really that guy. And women will pick up on this. And guys will too. A lot of guys will get insecure in your way. You have to really analyze this game. If you make a bitch nervous, other guys are going to be nervous as well. Because when you come around, their bitch is staring. I swear to you. And they're going to resent you. You will see people in their eyes. And I see a lot of people with, my, uh, with their eyes. They, we connect with eye contact. And I don't look away because I am that guy. You're going to look away from me. I don't give a fuck if you're a dude or if you're a bitch. If you're this, that. You could be an animal. You're going to look away from me. Because... I'm not insecure myself. It, I've worked for everything, especially when you're going to have a nice body and a nice face and you look good. You take care of yourself. You get your hair cuts. You know what I'm saying? You drip the fuck out. Of course, you're going to get more women, right? Especially like when I remember this game, I realized I remember when I was younger, I, I went to prom one day and I was dripped the fuck out. Like for high school prom and, and middle school prom, I was dripped out. There was a ma so many bitches wanted to take pictures with me, right? But beforehand, I had no drip. We was wearing, like, uniforms at school. I didn't have good shoes, anything like that. I'm getting a lot of attention from women, all sorts of things. But when I was dripped the fuck out, all the hoes wanted to take pictures with me. They always wanted they wanted to be in, around me. They want to interact with me because you're seen as higher. You're fresh to death. You look good, and you carry yourself, and your aura speaks for itself. So you do not need to speak. Also, there's another thing in Spanish that they say... This is a this is big game changer as well. It's uh, I forgot. No, uh, it's basically translated. You look better with your mouth shut. You know what I'm saying? You look better with your mouth shut, right? For instance, I was telling you that girl earlier where me and my homie went and talked to her. I was spitting game, and you know he's sitting on the side and shit. She looked so good until she opened her mouth, right? So when you're around your way, I'm not saying be a mute bot, but be quiet, be more. You know, like I said, you got two ears and one mouth. You should be more quiet than you are speaking. It doesn't matter what you say, whatever. Oh, I don't want to stand there like a bot. You don't stand there like a bot. You ask questions. You have a good time. You engage in the conversations. You laugh. But be more quiet, you know, because when you're quiet, you have that mystery, that mystery to you. You put pressure on people. You have the eye contact. You're dripped out. You look good. It shows that you are like a king and these people will submit to you at any time. They will submit to you, bro. And this is not no lie. You got to really analyze the game and really see it for what it is. Women want what they can't have. It's like a, it's like when women want know about other guys and they're looking at them and shit like that. It's like a trophy. They want you as a trophy. They want you bad because all the other girls want it. Girls want what other girls can't have. And it's just, it's just human nature. You got to flow, but be that trophy that they get. You know what I'm saying? Hit the gym, look better, take care of your teeth, get a haircut, you know, get you some fucking drip, look better. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm not saying spend like fucking thousands of dollars on designer clothes because that's not what I do either. I got my J's on. I got some regular sweats from fucking Ross and I got this shirt from fucking online. You know, I'm about to go hit the gym. But when I'm in the gym in that atmosphere, they love how I look like all the hoes look at me because I'm something to look at. When you go to the gym and everyone's not like, like I said, you got to be dripped out everywhere you go type shit. When other people go to the gym, you know, they're wearing their beat up ass sneakers. They're not wearing anything nice. Not, they don't stand out. Stand out amongst the crowd, amongst all these lames. You're going to get what you want. And you don't even have to open your mouth. Your words, bro, if you talk like in a way of like a movie scene where you, you're talking in quotes and shit, they love that shit, bro, because you have that mysterious aura. And, and it's really true. It really works. When you're dripped out, people are going to look at you. Men or women, you just look better in the gym. I'm fly as shit. I go in there, hit my sets. I really put in that work, too. And, you know, I get a pump. I go shirtless. Bro, they all tweaking. It's just what comes with it, right? So that's how you build a seductive aura. Man, I hope I didn't miss anything. Man. If you made it to the end, right, I'm going to leave this last little gem for you guys, right? So I was talking to this one girl, right? And this one girl that I was talking to, I wasn't really so into her. She was about like, a, she was good looking. She was like a seven, but it's just, I didn't like how she spoke and all sorts of things, right? But at the gym, this is before we're talking, right? This is what's creepy. And this is why I realized like this game really works. So I'm walking through the gym always confident as fuck. You just walk with your chest up, your head how high, shoulders back, walk like you're that guy, play that music, go hit some sets and shit. Bitches are always going to tweak. Guys are going to look at you as well. 
And you're going to get respect from men as well because you're confident and other people are so insecure. Everybody, even men, all these men are so insecure themselves. They they move like bitches. Bitches like bitches be so insecure of themselves. But men too, these little soy boys, you're going to run over these guys always. So like I told you about that one girl who, who I looked at and I was like, damn, who's that? That is how that girl seen me in her eyes. She was like, wow, what the fuck? So I'm walking one day, chest up, held how high. I'm in the gym. You know what the fuck I do in the gym? I'm really that dude in the gym. So I walk past this girl, right? But I don't even realize she's there, right? So the Smith machine's on this side. I'm walking through. I got my headphones on. I got my, like I tell you, I, I be so in the zone because I take this pre-workout where I drink coffee. I'm in the zone. Like, I don't give a fuck who's around me. I'm about to go hit this weight because that's what I do. You feel me? So I'm in the gym. I walk past her, right? She's on the Smith machine doing squats. And she was so happy to record herself on the like a set. Like she was, I didn't realize any of this. I want you to understand, I didn't realize any of this shit. And she was recording a video of her doing squats as I walked by her. And I had no clue, right, about any of this, right? So a couple weeks go, let's say two weeks go by, and she has someone ask for her my number because, like I told you, they're so nervous of you. You make them nervous. And she wanted my number, but she's like, my friend wants your number. I'm like, where's your friend? Who? Where? I didn't know she was talking about this girl because I noticed her every now and then. But like, fuck, I'm in the gym. I don't care about that. So after like 15 minutes, just I'm telling you how nervous these girls are. Like you have them around your finger. It's crazy. How nervous this girl was when she came up to me was crazy. You have to read the body language. If she's moving, if she's like talking to you sideways, if her eyes are all over the place, if you know what I'm saying, she's nervous. And I peeped that and I'm like, okay, she's really fucking tweaking. So she comes up to me and she tells me, like she's talking to me, everything, she's nervous, whatever. I get her number. And then after a week of talking to her, she shows me this video that she recorded that I, I told you I had no idea existed. I went, just walked past her and she was midway doing squats. But as I walked past her, she was like, she paused squats. She put the fucking Smith machine down. And she was like, oh my God, that's the dude. Like she ran up to her camera, like, oh my God, oh my God. Like tweaking, like, like fanned out, tweaking. And this gives you like the celebrity type of energy, bro. It's like, you are that king. And this holds you to that type of standard. And I, I generally want guys to know this. Honestly, I feel like a lot of guys should pay for this type of game real soon. You might have to pay for this type of knowledge because this shit is different. But this is how you build that seductive aura. And by moving in silence, you don't even, I didn't open my mouth. I didn't ever open my mouth until, you know, we started talking and shit. But that was like, she was telling me, yo, it was the way you walk, how confident you look good, bro. You were tweaking. I'm like, oh shit. You know, so when you really peep these women looking at you, giving you these eye, eye contact, double back and yeah, these hoes is on your dick, bro. You just got to realize the subtle cues that women will give you. They won't give, come up to you. Like I said, it was it took her friend to come up to me and then another 15 minutes on top of that after I told the girl, tell your friend to come over here. It took her like 15 minutes. I'm like, yo, where the fuck is this bitch? Is she gonna come? Like, what, what the fuck is going on? She eventually came after 15 minutes. That's how nervous they are. They give you, it gets this celebrity type of energy and they can't, bro, they, they can't get enough of it. They want what they can't have. You feel what I'm saying? And if you play hard to get, especially, they're going to keep fucking just keep coming at you until they get it. It's crazy. But this is how you move. This is how you build a seductive aura and move in silence, bro. Let her choose without making the move. Just stay shut. And you know what I'm saying? When you're talking to people, just stay shut. Learn. You can analyze. You can read their body language. I had so many girls just so nervous talking to me. It's crazy. Make their eye contact wander around. That's how you know you get, you're starting to get them. You're, get, you're mixing emotions within them without nobody really know, knowing this type of knowledge. You will really be that guy. You'll start to really move accordingly. And if you made it to the end, now you got this fucking knowledge for you, bro. But I love you guys, bro. I hope I really didn't miss anything. Stand on your fucking word every time. Don't talk foolishness. Talk real, like, talk real shit that, you know, talk talk some good shit. Don't, 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 don't talk foolishness. Don't talk bullshit. Don't be, you know what I'm saying? Don't be seen as, like, a goofy guy because the bitch is going to see you as a fucking goofy. You know what I'm saying? And, and men are going to see you as goofy. And that shows that you're, like, you know, nobody takes you serious. You know what I'm saying? So this is some fucking game for your fucking brain. So, you know, I love y'all, bro. And, um... I'm going to leave my last video right here for you guys. And please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, bro. And stay yourself. Stay 300. Whatever you do in life. Trust me. I believe in you, bro.